The vehicle behind the tanker, we see the truck slide from the middle lane into the center barrier and erupt in a fireball. Viewer video from people near the Big Beaver exit on I-75 in Troy show the massive plumes of smoke and fire, the result of 14,000 gallons worth of gas and diesel fuel burning for hours. Troy Fire says a 46-year-old man from St. Clair was behind the wheel of that tanker and only suffered minor injuries. I'm told that he was alert and uh, he was able to get into the ambulance and then they did some uh, medical evaluation and transport him. Once he and others were moved to safety, firefighters tackled the flames with foam used to smother the fire. A lot of foam. So we brought that additional resource in with Class B foam to help extinguish and suppress the vapors. You look at the shell of that tanker and there's nothing left. The fire burned for two hours and likely did a lot of damage to a portion of 75 that was just recently renovated. Conceivably, we could have to replace the pavement. There's just no doubt about it. Um, a, a fire that hot is just going to really render that pavement brittle. But that full assessment may take a while. Most of the fuel likely burned up, but the rest of it was sent flowing off the freeway. When you're on an embankment like that, you have a lot of that fuel that will rush into the drainage structures and or the ditching on the side of the freeway. All that's going to have to be cleaned up. We watched large trucks of dirt dumped into ditches to contain the spill. Still, the Michigan Department of Transportation says it's hard to put a timeline on when this stretch of road will be drivable again. It's going to be a long time. We'll be out here. It'll be a late night for our guys.